Hello everyone, it's Tom the taxi driver and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I keep my cab in tip top condition. So we're here today in Berkeley Square. Berkeley Square is a wonderful centrepiece in the south part of Mayfair, just on the border of Piccadilly and not too far from the Regent Street shopping. And just like this area of London, which is pristine, well kept and beautiful, my cab has to fit in with the surroundings as well. Now, I do regularly wash the cab. I do it myself sometimes. I sometimes take it to a hand car wash, but there's times when it's not always easy to do both of those things. So between washes, I have a couple of things that I do just to keep the cab nice and clean. I only do this type of cleaning that I'm about to show you if I know it's only like a light dusting, a light dirt that has occurred recently. I know I'm gonna get many people in the comments that are very OCD with detailing, and I've been that way with cars before. The trouble is with a black cab is that it needs to be clean a lot of the time. Yes, me doing a quick wipe is very likely causing scratches or hazes onto the paintwork, but that is a compromise I have to live with to ensure I keep the cab clean. So the product I'm gonna be using is by Chemical Guys. Now I quite like their range of products. It even smells really, really good as well. So we're gonna give this a go on the, uh, on the bodywork. So you should be able to see that it's still relatively clean, but there's just this light level of dusting. You can just see that over the top there. And it just doesn't allow the cab to really shine through. So first off, we're gonna need uh, a microfiber rag or two. Just grab a pile of them. This is our technique. I'm gonna work on the shady side of the cab, because of course you never really wanna do it in the sun at all. But by quartering a microfiber, you have a lot more surfaces to use. The idea is, is once you wipe a panel, you're gonna collect a lot of dirt, dust, debris and stuff on there. And once that becomes a bit too saturated, you're of course wiping more and more dirt on the cab. So you have plenty more sides to flip and go through, so you've always got a clean bit of rag. So let's give it a go. Rings up nicely. You can just see that, that level of dirt there. Not much, but there's some. So we don't want to use that side now. We're going to come back round this way. It can use up quite a lot of microfibers, but the good thing is it's provide a minimal scratching as possible uh, to the cab. Like I say, it's going to be inevitable. You are going to get some level of scratching, but it's better than a dirty cab in my opinion. So I know we shouldn't be doing it in the sun, but I have to show you just to give us a bit of an example. Um, so let's just spray along that panel there. Working in swipes. Just straight through like that. That brings that up. And you can then see the difference between the two. And then I'll go over the cab a little bit later once I've done the whole cab, just make sure it's all buffed off. Cause sometimes you get a little bit of residue with the polish. But yeah, I'm going to do the whole cab now, so cue time lapse. So I'm pretty satisfied with the bodywork on this side of the cab. The other thing I want to do on the exterior is the glass as well. Now, why this is so important is because obviously it affects the exterior, but of course, when the passenger is sat inside the vehicle, they're going to be looking out. So they want to see nice clear glass. They got these wonderful London skylines. So I'm going to do those next. The product I'm using for my glass is Auto Glim Fast Glass. I've been using this stuff for years. Um, it leaves like, no streaks whatsoever, ever so easy just to go around the whole cab through all the windows, inside and out, and it makes a massive difference. Another pro tip, always give the bottle a good shake. Something else I'll do on the glass is that I'll go in one direction on the outside and then an up-down direction on the inside. That way, if I've got any stainings or marks or streaks, I know exactly which side the glass is on.
I'm pretty happy with how that's come out. The only thing I've got to figure out now, how do I do the roof? In the interiors of my cab, I've got carpet. So one of the best tools to keep them clean is just a stiff brush. Thank you once again for watching. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.